This right here is a blue runner. It is a close relative of the rainbow runner, which is actually really good eating fish. Blue runners are not quite as good. However, with the correct recipe, you can actually get some good eating meat off of this guy. And that's what we're gonna take a crack at doing right now. Well, good morning and welcome to a beautiful 105 degree day down here in South Texas. Seriously, it's a little warm out here. So I decided absolutely nothing in this world would make me happier than to get out here in the sun and spend a little time on the barbecue pit smoking up some fish. See, the real issue is we caught a whole bunch of fish the other day and I cannot fit it all in my freezer. So I'm gonna smoke a bunch of it up, package it, and send it off to some friends and family. One of the fish that we caught was a blue runner. We call them hardtails and we use them for bait. They're a little bit on the fishy side, but they're actually really good if you cook them right. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and smoke those along with some Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel is also one of those that people are kind of on the fence about regarding whether or not they're gonna keep them. They're not bad eating, but you kind of need to eat them fresh. I had these frozen about a week ago now, and today I'm gonna to smoke them up with the Blue Runner. Very simple recipe. I'm simply cutting out the bloodlines on these fish. I've actually already slathered them in barbecue sauce right here. Very, very simple. Now I'm just gonna throw those on the smoker. I'm only gonna do that for maybe an hour. They're pretty thin fillets, so they cook really quick and they come out really good. I just did some shark earlier this morning. Savannah absolutely loved it. You are not going to go wrong by smoking any of this stuff, but I do suggest cutting out those bloodlines before you smoke anything. It's gonna make a difference on the flavor. Your family will thank you. All right, let's do this. It's time to start smoking. Uh, this is burning kind of hot. Um, the pit's reaching about 300 degrees. I'd rather that be down closer to 180, 200. So I'm going to cut off the air to it, and uh, I just threw all that wood on. The pit's already beginning to smoke. So we got what we need. I'm going to throw some onion on this right here to kind of smooth it out a little bit so that the fillets slide out. And then I'm going to slap the fillets down. We're going to see what happens. long for them to cook really well on these little smokers. Oh, and by the way, please uh, cross your fingers for me. <laughs> it's been a bit since I've done some, uh, some smoking like this. So kind of experimenting just a little bit. And while you're crossing your fingers, if you wouldn't mind uh, maybe uh, subscribing and slapping that captain's bell so that you never miss an opportunity to really screw up some smoked fish like the rest of us. Smoked fish, smoked fish, smoked fish. I busted my lip last week and it's making it hard to talk. Check this guy out, see how they're doing. Oh, shoot, see, look how fast that cooked. Those guys are done. Can't wipe that meat. Ow, ow, ow. It's hot. All right, I overdid them, but I think that's gonna be good. It's not jerky, they're still moist on the inside. I'm gonna grab a plate right now. We're gonna pull those out of there and uh, take a little bite, see how they taste. I'll let them cool down, let Savannah take a bite, and she will be the judge as to whether or not uh, these came out really good, or we maybe need to try doing this sort of recipe with a different kind of fish. Oh yeah, that came out moist, that's good. Nothing wrong with that at all. This is the Spanish mackerel right here. That off over there. And then this over here is the Blue Runner. And that's also still moist, so that came out really good also. Ow, ow, ow. It hurts, it's hot. Ooh, a little fishy tasting. I'm not sure about this. We will see. But that's a lot fishier tasting than I thought it was going to be. 
little bit better. It's kind of warm out here. I think we're up to about 110 right now. Uh, this is a little piece of the Spanish mackerel. Now it's cooled off just a hair, you know, down to 110 or whatever. But let's take a look, Spanish mackerel, see how that came out. We'll do the same with Savannah. About, um, the fish tastes just fine. The, the meat itself is good, a little bit overdone. It's not quite as moist as I would have liked it, but then it's also a really tiny piece. Thicker flays probably came out better. Uh, just doing the barbecue sauce on there is probably not enough for this. I would suggest letting it brine in the fridge in uh, barbecue sauce, something like that overnight before you uh, go to smoke it. The last set of fish that I did came out a lot more flavorful and I brined that for about 48 hours, almost too flavorful. 24 hours ought to be perfect on whatever brine or marinade or however you're going to do it. It's going to make a difference. This just kind of came out a little bit plain. Not bad though. Nothing wrong with that. I could eat that. That's a snack. Okay, here is the Blue Runner. Now, I'm not exactly sure if I've ever eaten Blue Runner. I've eaten a lot of stuff before, and I just can't remember. So, you know, experimenting here. Same deal. I prepared it the exact same way as I did that Spanish mackerel. Let's see how it turned out. The same kind of deal. The texture is about the same. Um, in fact, I want to say that it's probably a little bit more firm than the Spanish mackerel, which is a good thing. Uh, the flavor itself, also the barbecue sauce, I would have liked to have marinated this or brined it overnight. That would have made it taste a little bit better. It has a little bit of a fishy uh, hint to it, a lot more so than the Spanish mackerel. It's not bad, but it is evident. There's a little bit of a fishy hint to it. Totally edible. There is a slight noticeable difference though in the fishing flavor between the Blue Runner and the Spanish mackerel. I think I like the Spanish mackerel better but all this needed was just a, a little bit more preparation, and this would have come out just as good as anything else. Blue Runner, smoke it up, it's totally good to go. Again, I do suggest marinating this overnight. It's gonna make for a little bit better flavor, but you can totally do this all day long. That is an edible fish. Yeah, going back for seconds, it can't be that bad. 100 thumbs up out of 17. Yeah, I like that math. Bam. Yep, now we need to try that again. Different fish. And we, oh, we're getting a second bite. Not bad. Not bad. So you would totally snack on that, huh? Either one? Can you can you tell the difference? Can, do you have one that's better than the other? Which one? Which one's better? Are you kidding me? Really? That's bait. <laughs> that was uh, that is Blue Runner. The other, the smaller ones are Spanish mackerel. But that's cool. That's cool. That's the whole thing that we're going for here. Is we wanted to see if we could make the Blue Runner taste just as good as anything else. So that's awesome. I really like that you. Uh, I really like that you picked that one. How many thumbs up? Two thousand out of nineteen. 2,000 out of 19 thumbs up. There you have it, folks. You get yourself a couple of hardtails, smoke those things up, man. That comes out really good as a totally good snack, and that is what Savannah and I are going to be having for lunch today. We're going to vacuum seal some of this stuff up so that we have it for snacks in the future. Maybe give that out to some friends and family. Hey, I want to thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate you spending a little bit of time out here on the pit with me, especially when it's like 113 degrees outside.